Fox 19 Now First Alert Weather Day. Now at 5, this is some video from our sister station in Louisville. They are reporting a tornado touchdown in Jefferson County, Indiana. Indiana State Police say there are already reports of several homes being damaged and a lot of power lines down as well. Here at home, we saw a lot of hail and a lot of hail damage. Yeah, and this was just the first round of storms. Unfortunately, a second round expected to hit sometime overnight into the early morning hours. The chief Steve Horsemeyer is very busy, and uh, I keep hearing you guys talk about different warnings and watches and stuff like that. So what's the latest? Uh, we've got one warning in effect. It's for Lewis County. It's for a severe thunderstorm, but there is no tornado activity in the area right now. Uh, we just got word that the Louisville National Weather Service office down in Milton, Kentucky, has uh, done a preliminary survey, and they're still working on the survey, but they've at least confirmed EF1 tornado damage down there, and that was the same cell that you heard Frank talk about that came up to the Madison area, caused damage there, and uh, moved on across northern Kentucky. And again, we have a second wave of thunderstorm activity on the way, so the first alert weather day that we have in effect continues. Uh, the first round is over. The second round is going to head with uh, bring in a more heavy rain locally, some more strong uh, winds, some more large hail because we've had hail that closed in on three inches in diameter so far today, and the chance of another isolated tornado or two, and of course severe storms a pretty good bet as we head through the evening. So overall, what we're looking at here is we're looking at 73 degrees right now. Now, if you go outside and it feels a little bit sticky. That's because it is. The dew points are in the 60s now, kind of like what we get in summer for a long time. And so all that moisture out there is thunderstorm fuel. So as the next system comes our way, there's plenty of potential uh, for some additional severe thunderstorm activity. We should still be at 66 degrees by 11 p.m. Overnight, we're looking at a low of 63. Now, I think before 4 a.m., we see an end to the threat of severe weather in the tri-state. That's for our far eastern counties. So from a little, few hours from now on into about 4 a.m., we've got the chance of severe weather in the tri-state. We do have rain in the forecast for tomorrow morning's commute, but we will be done with the severe weather before you head out the door uh, tomorrow morning. So here's that line of thunderstorm activity. The last of the thunderstorms now over Lewis County where that severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for the possibility of 60 mile an hour winds, large hail. You don't see anything here yet, but we do have more on the way. As a matter of fact, if we look off to the north and west, uh, you can see it developing here over northern Illinois, and that is the activity that we're worried about. We're in for another round. This round could be stronger, more widespread, and could bring more damage to the tri-state. We'll detail it more. We'll detail it more when I come back. Now we go out to Frank Marzullo. Frank who did the morning shows out doing double duty today. Frank, tell us where you are, what you've seen, and uh, your impression. Hey. Look at that right there, Steve. This is these are the men and women who uh, really uh, are the true uh, first responders here. When it comes to getting things somewhat back to normal, this gentleman here on 36 in Western Carroll County uh, just helped to get this tree down and uh, didn't realize they don't just cut them down. You get the uh, uh, big uh, heavy equipment over here. You got the claw grabbing it through, and what they're doing is because 36 is closed here, they're bringing everything over to this side, which is the Ohio. River. Riverside. And I want to show you something, Steve, and everybody at home. Uh, Buck, if we could go up into the, the tree uh, hillside here, you can see all the way up how many trees have come down. And this definitely was a tornado. As you're looking at this, you can see how it's all twisted. Things are twisted. They're not laying flat. Laying flat is straight line wind damage. But just from an observable fact from being here, you can see over this direction, and then the tornado went right over the river, right over into the Madison area. You've got Hanover the other direction, uh, and then it jumped uh, Carrollton. But this area of 36 is closed right now. Milton is only about 10 minutes that direction. Uh, these uh, public service folks and emergency officials are going to be heading that direction next. We'll follow with them as well. Gas lines have been shut down, uh, guys, because uh, there was a strong order of, uh, of gas uh, after these storms moved through and power has been cut to the area, too. So try to get this cleaned up before that next round later tonight. We'll go back inside to you from uh, Carroll County. You know, Frank, I cannot believe how quick those crews got out there and are working. I mean, yeah, that right? is amazing. Is that like yeah. a, is that a, a, a main road right there that they have to get cleaned up? Is that why they're there so quickly? It would, 
there, there's another main artery that kind of cuts up uh, behind here. But, yeah, this is the main thoroughfare that takes you right down to Milton. I mean, these guys got out here, what, uh, it's been 90 minutes that they've been working on here. And you can see at first when I got here, I thought a lot of the debris that was over here uh, was all, uh, you know, from the tornado. No, they've been taking it off the road and putting it here. I talked to the one gentleman a few seconds ago. Is it Ron? Russ. Ron, Ron was telling me, you guys, right beforehand, you guys were what, mow mowing lawns? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's down at the city care on the Point Park. And then well, we were just, everybody in Cincinnati was impressed how these men and women got that they were getting this road cleared up so quick. Oh, we got a lot of volunteers around here. Yeah. That's yeah. good. They come good. out quick. That's good stuff. A lot of chainsaws and a lot of gasoline, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, do you put gasoline in a chainsaw? I think you do. <laughs> it's the blend. Anyway, they're working hard out here, guys, and we'll go back inside of you. They certainly are, and all that volunteer stuff, that's good stuff. Yeah. Frank, thanks. Thanks for sending us all of these pictures and videos. Please keep them coming. This is from Glencoe, Kentucky, and that are th those are hail balls mm -hmm. the size of ping pong balls. Yeah, and check out, we've got some more hail photos have been coming in. Check out this. This was in Warsaw, Kentucky. We've seen reports of tennis ball sized hail in parts of the tri-state as well. Golf ball size in others still could do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, we continue to track the severe weather all evening long. You can scan the QR code on your screen. You can download the free Fox 19 Now weather app. It'll keep you up to date as this always changing forecast heads your way and how it might impact your day or your evening.